Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil anbiya'i wa mursalin nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in dhamul iftira condemnation of inventing lies inventing lies is to make a lie or slander against Allah or his messenger against fellow humans and against oneself one who invents a lie against Allah is the most unjust Allah says وَمَا نَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِالْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَهُ أَلَيْسَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ مَثْوًى لِلْكَافِرِينَ And who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah or denies the truth when it has come to him? Is there not in hell a sufficient residence for the disbelievers? The disbelievers lied against Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam that he invented the Qur'an. On account of this, Allah says they have committed an injustice and a lie. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا إِفْكُمْ نِفْتَغَوْا عَانَوْا عَلَيْكُمْ مُنَخَرِينَ فَكُرْ جَاءُوا ذُلْمًا وَزُورًا And those who disbelieve say this Qur'an is not accept a falsehood invented And another people assisted him in it, but they have committed an injustice and a lie. The one who invents lies against Allah the Almighty is the worst of wrongdoers and criminals. فَمَنِ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Whoever invents a lie against Allah, after that, such shall indeed be the Zolimun, the wrongdoers. Inventing lies and slander are characteristics of, the, of every infidel. And Allah says, Innama yaftari al-kathiba lazina la yukminuna bi ayatila awla ika umul kathibun. They only invent falsehood who do not believe in the verses of Allah, and it is those who are the liars. Inventing lies and slander lead to the following. Number one, it leads to falling to falling into polytheism and innovation. Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on him, said, polytheism and all other innovations are based on lies and slander. Number two, inventing lies is a reason for the prevention of guidance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَا نَظْلَمُ مِمَّا نِفْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لِيُدِلَّ نَاسَ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِلْ قَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ Then, who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah to mislead the people by other than knowledge. Indeed, Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. It is a reason for not being successful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتَعُونَ أَمَ اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ Say, indeed, those who invent falsehood about Allah will not succeed. It leads to disgrace and humiliation. And Allah says, indeed, those who took the calf for worship will obtain anger from their Lord and humiliation in the life of this world. And thus do we recompense the inventors of falsehood. وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِلْ مُفْتَرِينَ Thus do we recompense the inventors of falsehood. And the story of the if incident when the hypocrites falsely accuse the beloved wife of the Prophet Muhammad Ali Salatu Wasalam, Aisha radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed her innocence in the Quran. May Allah guide us to the path of righteousness and save us from inventing lies, falsehood. And making slanders. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.